Saints Miriam, what do you do with all your race bids and all your race medals? Do you tuck them away in a drawer or a box? Well, that's what I did for years until recently. I decided to take them out and display them in my home office where I do a lot of my freelance writing and where I write a lot about ultra running. And what I want to share with you is some tips or give you some ideas on what to do with all those bibs and medals that you have worked so hard to earn. Well, you can see here, I have some very inexpensive frames, they're plastic frames, and I just simply tape my bibs onto them. It's that easy. These are from marathons, half marathons, and ultra marathons, and each bib tells a story. And here, I've displayed my medals. And I display them on a Taekwondo bong. This bong belonged to my daughter when she was in karate. She's a first degree black belt in Taekwondo. And I just displayed my medals from my first uh, 10K. Um, and I also have 5Ks in here somewhere. And my um, marathons and my 50 mile ultras and my 24 hour ultras and my 100 mile uh, ultra um, belt buckles. So this is a great way to um, display them. Now, for example, here is a medal from the North Face Endurance Finishers Medal and Vermont and Tussie Mountain Bag and around the lake uh, 24 hour and Anchor Down and my Soul Challenge 24 hour and my most recent 50 miler, the Burning River 50. And belt buckles don't come with ribbons um, so I created my own, and here is the belt buckle for the Beast of Burden, 100 miler, uh, back in 2011. And let's see, um, here's my second belt buckle uh, from uh, the Wildcat Ultra uh, 100 last year in Pensacola, Florida. I've also, my first ultra, uh, 100 miler ultra was uh, the Philadelphia 100, but that was... Uh, a fat ass event so uh, self-supporting and no buckle at the end um, and another great way to display uh, your bibs and your medals um, or if you have an ultra runner or a runner in your life that you would like to give a beautiful gift to this would make a great gift this was given to me by my children and my husband after I finished my first 50 mile ultra the JFK 50 and so they collected some of my medals that they found around the house and they display them up here. So, for example, and also they um, put in my team and training singlet. I ran two uh, marathons to raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And one of them was the um, um, Marine Corps Marathon and the Philadelphia Marathon. And um, here's a little blurb in our local newspaper about my JFK 50, my JFK fib, and a picture of me at my first 10K in New York City, the Lakes Mini Marathon. So this makes a great gift. And for years, this was displayed in our family room, but I took it out of the family room and put it in my office. And if you collect uh, race posters, or if you uh, get them, uh, display them. Um, this one is very special. I love this poster. I happened to be in Leadville one summer and I went to the Leadville store uh, to buy a Leadville shirt. I'll never run Leadville. Um, but um, there was Ken Schaubler, the founder of uh, the Leadville races, and he was giving away free posters. And he said, grab whatever you, which one you want. And I grabbed this one and he signed it on July 26, 2010. Miriam runs strong. And that's what I've continued to do since then. Um, and um, let's see if you have plaques. Here's a plaque that I also got uh, when I placed a uh, third overall woman in my first 24-hour event, the 24-hour um, uh, run uh, around the lake in Wakefield, Massachusetts. And now I have some bits that I have to uh, soon uh, put in a frame. I already have the frame here for them. And uh, uh, display the, uh, your bibs any way you want. If you run a lot of charity races, you can devote uh, frames to all your charity race events. And this was a charity race 5K that I ran last spring. Not this spring, but last spring. Uh, last year, um, 
I ran the Soul 24 Hour uh, Challenge, uh, and I placed second overall female, so I was pretty excited about that. And um, this is my bib for the uh, Wildcat 100 in Pensacola. And um, out of 48 starters in the 100 event, 100 mile event, 13 finished, and I was number 13. So number 13 is now my lucky number. And all bibs have a story, and all bibs are special. Um, and this one is my uh, bib from the Naked Prussian this past March, uh, a um, 50 mile trail ultra. And uh, it was a DNF for me because I missed the first cutoff at mile 26 and a half by um, seven minutes. Um, so this is also a special bib. Just because I didn't finish it doesn't mean it doesn't deserve to be displayed. And then my most recent ultra uh, last month, the um, Burning River 50 bib is also a very special bib. And so I'll be displaying those soon. So there you have it. Take out those bibs from those boxes or drawers and your medals and find ways to display them and uh, repurpose. These are very inexpensive ways to display your bibs and to display your medals. So if you want to learn more about all of my races and my ultras, um, why don't you uh, visit my website link. I'll put the link in the description of this uh, video. In the meantime, you've worked really hard and trained really well and raced re really well to earn your bibs and your medals. So display them and be proud of them. So as always, train well and race well. And thank you for watching.